Greetings, this is Charles Darwin, and I'm speaking to you from Sequoia National Park in California. And this is where you will find some of the giant sequoia trees, as you'll see in the background. Sequoia dendron giganteum. Many of them are over 2,000 years old. And this is one of the ways in which plants are able to fit their life histories, their life cycles, into the vagaries of nature. As you can see from the burnt log behind me, these trees germinate mostly after fires, when land has been opened up, sunlight has been made available, and the seedlings can then germinate. And then they grow rapidly for a few years. You can see right behind me, between the charred log and the giant tree, you can see some young sequoia trees that have been growing for a few decades. And then, after just a few hundred years, they reach their full size. And then what do they do? Do they then die now that they've reached their full size? No, that's not what they do. What they do is continue to live and produce cones and produce seeds every year or every few years. And as a result, they're able to live for thousands of years. They have very thick bark that in many cases prevents them from being harmed by fires. And therefore, they're able to live for a long time. They can withstand drought and heat and cold and many feet of snow, which comes during a normal winter in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California. This is one of the ways in which trees can fit their life histories into the cycles of nature. I've told you about others. I've told you about the seaside alder that is able to fit in with floods. I've told you about several species, at least two species, of pine trees that have a fire cycle so that they do not reproduce at all unless there is a fire. And the sequoia trees seem to have both ends of the spectrum. They reproduce profusely after fires, and they also live for a very long time, like the large oak tree that I had in an earlier video. However, it seems that now, since there are very few fires, that the seedlings of white fir are taking over. And as a result, there's very little regeneration of the sequoias. There are a few, but not a large number, of juvenile sequoia trees. So perhaps the forest, which is a remnant of one that was found throughout North America and Eastern Asia 30 million years ago, might be on its way toward extinction. I hope that does not occur. This is Charles Darwin. Tally ho, and amen.